I took a nasty spill about a week ago. I went to the emergency room. I've gone to the doctor now. I've gone to some physical therapy. I'm going to try to show you what happened. Let me disconnect the camera and I'll try to show you what happened. So I was trying to carry this air conditioning unit. It's a big air conditioning unit too. Up this ladder here. And as I was bringing it up, my foot slipped right through here. It just slipped right through here like this and got stuck like that. Okay, and then I fell backwards. Well, I don't want to do this to my other foot. Then I fell backwards on these stairs, hit my back on all of these steps, hit my head. But then I had that air conditioning unit right there right there on the edge just right there on the edge and after my foot slipped through and I got stuck that thing just came crashing down right on top of me I thought for sure I broke my leg but <laughs> I'm telling you God makes us great doesn't he my leg didn't break I cannot believe my leg didn't break uh, it took me a long time to get out and unstuck from here um, and I like I said, I, my wife was working at home, but my house is kind of far away. I have a detached garage. Called her, and she came over and got me and brought me to the hospital. Everything's okay. It's just going to take me a little while to heal. Um, but, whew, man, still, it's, it's kind of messed up. My, my leg's all numb and bruised in here, and it's been over a week. And it's very sore. And back here... From the, from the other step, from this step right here, right back here, really tender and sore. But my whole leg got wedged right in between there. And then between my body weight and the weight of that air conditioner, it didn't break. You guys, have a great day. I'm a little stoked about this because I gave a shout out on my, my YouTube channel uh, about a mud shot to see if somebody would uh, Send me a mud shot. And a man in um, a man in Chicago, his name is Freddie Freddie Smith. He uh, he contacts me on my YouTube channel and says, "Hey, he has one. He'd let me borrow it. He'd let me borrow his mud shot." And uh, he came all the way out here in the suburbs of Chicago and, and dropped it off. He says he he works actually in Las Vegas, uh, but he grew up here in Chicago. He goes, I, I'm not using it. Use it as long as you want. And uh, so I'm going to be trying this out for the next couple of weeks. Today I'm going to put in a couple of angles in this to, uh, to see how it works. And, then, and I'm, I'm looking at the differences already. First of all, it comes with this extra handle. So it's going to make it a lot longer, you know, than the, but from what he said, that this handle also works on my mud runner. So it's supposed to go right here on the mud runner too, and actually it does. It goes right in there. Uh, the only difference, trouble I'm, I'm wondering is, you put that in there. Oh, okay. So you turn like this. All right. That makes sense. I can only turn it the one way. I'm going to turn it the other way. So it's on the screw. But okay, that makes sense. So it does work on there. The other, the other thing I'm, I'm looking at too, is. The mud shot, the tube, is actually a little longer. So it looks like it holds more mud than the mud runner. And, and what, I, what I really like is what he was showing me was, let me get this head off. What he was showing me was this little adjustment right here. So, you know, if I put it all the way up, it won't go, it, I can't push it in. If I'm wanting to clean up some angles that have too much mud, I can put that all the way up and clean them up. You know, otherwise if my mud's pretty thin and I don't want much mud to come out because it's coming out too thin, I put it there. If it's thicker, I can put it there. And, and so I, I'm assuming this is for thick mud and that's for thinner mud. So you can adjust. You can adjust how much mud is coming out of here by this. So I think that's a great feature. Uh, the only thing I don't like 
and that I, I, I don't know if I don't like it or not, is the fact that when I put this in the angles and run it, I still have to push on it to do it. With this, I don't. I put it in there, the only pushing I have to do is for the blades a little bit, right? But I guess you're going to have to do that anyway. We'll see. We'll see how it works. So bear with me. Hey, if you really like the videos, subscribe. And if you really, really like the videos, please just share them with somebody else. All right, you guys have a great day.